let's start with installing weblogic now as i mentioned earlier you need weblogic in order to run OES administration console i strongly recommend that you use the installation worksheet that way you can record all the values for future reference set executable flag on the installation file and kick off the installer click next as I mentioned earlier uh, it will be good to record these values in the worksheet that way you can keep track of uh, where you've installed or, or any defaults that you've changed I'm just using default values in this installation procedure but you can always change it based on your convenience So we just completed the installation procedure uh, and after this we'll install the actual OES administration console and then we'll follow the rest of the steps.